everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Krista and this is Rock and Road. Today we are out at Whitefish Point in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I'm here with my mom and my aunt. They don't want to be on camera, but that's okay. We're gonna find some great rocks today. Hoping for some unikites, maybe some agates, um, and then just any other cool rocks we find today. So one of the main things we're looking for today is unikite, which is a green and pink rock. It's got epidote, which is the green, the pink feldspar that makes up the pink, and there's some other minerals in it as well. But uh, this is a good place to find some of that. Mom found another nice big unikite. Very nice, Mom. So this one might be an agate, but if it is, it's a really low quality one. Ooh, Mom found another nice piece of unikite. Got another pink unikite here. And then I found this rock, which is like real weird looking. If anyone knows what that is, leave it in the comments, because that is bizarre to me. All right, I've got another maybe agate, maybe just quartz feldspar, something or other. We can look at it more later. It's not a pudding stone. <laughs> uh, unikite here. I think this is another one here. So, rinse them off a little bit. That's interesting. I don't know what that is. If you know what that is, leave it in the comments. So it's probably a rock that had like a quartzite and then you had a vein of something go through the middle of it. Um, like there was a crack that it filled in, but I could be totally wrong on that. It's cool though, we should keep it if you want. Yeah. Good job, it's a unikite. This is? I think so. Mom found this one. Neat little piece. This is kind of a cool one. I don't know what that is. Neat. Aunt Jay found a nice one with a whole bunch of epidote in it. Real pretty unikite. I think this one might be a little lytic jasper. I could be wrong on that. But, uh,. Yeah. Some nice color to it, so we'll keep them. And Shay found this one that has some like bright pink in it. Ooh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, very pink. It's a keeper. Got some interesting little rings in it. Another. Okay, with the epidote there. Mom found a little hagstone. So the rock would have had a little bit of a dimple, and over time with the wave motion, there would have been little sand grains in it that swirled around and around and carved it out deeper and deeper. And hers has two little pits on it. Very good. So I think Mom may have found an agate, and a very big one at that. I think it's got enough banding in it. <laughs> Another nice unikite. And then mom found this one that's got a nice little bit of mica in it. Well, this is a real wild looking one. I think yellow's in it. Ooh, that one's got a little fossil impression on it. Probably a chert. Maybe it's an agate if I cut it open, but with the fossil, it's probably a chert. So I think this might be one of those galaxy stones where you've got the basalt with little tiny agates in the nodules. Um, I know Agate Dad over in Minnesota finds a whole bunch of these along Lake Superior there. So I think that might be what this is. A piece with some low grade garnets in it. Probably a nice. I don't think it's a schist. There's not really any mica in it. You need mica for it to be a schist. And I found this piece, which is just some sort of, probably another type of nice, but uh, look at that pink color from the feldspars. Really awesome. All right, I think I see an agate, guys. Finally, one that I think for sure. Yeah, it's got bands. Get it wet. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Get those bands. Some more right here. We uh, found our Lake Superior Ragged. All right, everyone. So we are back home in Ohio, and there's a couple of rocks that I didn't get on camera out there that I wanted to show off just because they're they're neat. Um, and for whatever reason, I didn't film collecting them. So overall, we have a lot of granites and gneisses and other igneous and metamorphic rocks. Um, these are the ones that my mom and my aunt tended to gravitate towards, which is perfectly fine because they're all absolutely beautiful. And then we've got more of the unikites, which are the greens and the pinks. Very a metamorphic rock. Uh, so the pink is the feldspar, green is epidote, any like white is quartz. And there can be other minerals in them too, but unikites are what we went for. Um, so I'm very happy with what we found there. Where's the interesting ones go? A couple of these basalts are just so bizarre looking. I'm trying to get that in the sunlight really well. Um, really weird patterning. Here's another one that looks like that one. Very bizarre. I like these ones with the red and the black. a neat one with lots of lots of yellows in there some really neat neat patterns in some of these guys this one almost looks like petrified wood but given the area it was found in I, uh, I don't think it's petrified wood let's see what else is cool in here this one's got some neat colors And then it's another neat one. I'm not really sure what that one is, but it's got some cool patterns going on. This is a neat little green guy. And then last but not least, we've got agates and maybe agates. So oh, this one has some banding in it that could maybe be agate and it just has limonite staining on the outside or it could just be a piece of chert but that's suspect on the list this one i don't know what it is it's got a really weird pattern and i kind of want to cut it open just because i'm so curious about it this one looks like it might have some banding maybe um the agates over at whitefish point are lighter in color than the ones you get further further west along lake superior so uh this is a for sure agate we can see the banding in it just absolutely beautiful little tiny piece so that's probably my best agate find the biggest one though is this chunk that my mom found but it's definitely got some bands um, some banding there so I don't know if there's another type of agate in the area or if these are for sure Lake Superior agates and it's like found on Lake Superior but like I said they're a little lighter in color in this area and then as you get further west into more of iron country you get more of the the deep reds um, that are more notable in the agates. So, got a couple other tiny pieces that maybe quartz, maybe a clear little agate. This one was a weird one with this little like line going through it. I'm not really sure what that is. Kind of neat. Um, it's another maybe agate. Some of these maybe I'll try to tumble or polish or slice. It's a cool one. I'm trying to get the good lighting. It's a little too off. But uh, some nice colors in that one. This is an agate for sure. But that one's like almost pure white and it's more mossy than banded. But, yeah, so those are our finds, 
anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a great hunt. We found some great things. Unikites are what I mainly came there for, so I'm very happy with our haul. Um, these are all going to go in, in centerpieces for my wedding. So I'm very happy with what we found. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And have a great day.